Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask Kenki. Today we have some very quick updates for you guys. In a joint effort with the folks at AMD, Magson has announced Redshift support for AMD Radeon Pro graphic cards for Windows. So this now makes a lot of sense for those who do own AMD cards to be able to take advantage of Redshift rendering technology from Magson and get some very amazing visuals. With GPU accelerated rendering increasing every single day for both production and hobbyist rendering, it is pretty interesting to see this and at the same time it's a welcome development to see that Redshift is now being supported for AMD graphic users. And AMD not trying to be out of the game has actually done a very close technical collaboration with the folks at Magson to help expand the reach of Redshift hardware ecosystem, enabling support for GPU accelerated rendering in Redshift using AMD Hardware One via the open source AMD HIP API. Redshift also supports rendering with mixed devices such as the Redshift CPU and now with the AMD Radeon, AMD users can now be able to also take advantage of the mixed devices rendering capability that Redshift has to offer. So at this point you can now mix your CPU and your AMD Radeon Pro graphic card and open up more possibilities for rendering. With varieties of hardware setup support, Redshift now opens up even way more for more people to take advantage of. So whether you're using an Nvidia, AMD or you're just simply using a CPU, right now you can now take advantage of redshift and do some more stuff and from the press statement from the ceo of magzone he's saying that our ultimate goal is redshift everywhere in the hands of every artist on every dcc application with the ability to take advantage of the capabilities of their hardware and this is something that is currently happening which lots of people would love to see now amd also has its own rendering tool which is known as the amd pro renderer and it is totally free. So this tool is currently available for anyone who is working with any of these DCC apps that have been listed here and you can simply go ahead and download it. Of recent they've been updated for several DCC apps and it just simply makes sense that if you would like to take a look at what AMD has to offer as this also runs on Nvidia and AMD graphic cards then you might want to consider checking this out. And if you're an AMD user and you're thinking about running Redshift or probably you own a couple of Cinema 4D licenses alongside with a Maxon One license of course, then you can now take advantage of your AMD GPU and at the same time with your CPU and take Redshift for a spin. And for those who like to test out the AMD Alpha version which is currently available for public testing, you can simply go over to the Redshift blog. If you do own a Redshift license, you'll be able to log in and find it right here. So once you get in, you would see a list of supported AMD GPUs. At the same time, you can also see a list of currently known issues and omissions that the AMD GPU currently doesn't support for Redshift. Finally, if you would like to take a look at some of the nice things that's available on Trello and follow up with your roadmap, this is also going to be in the link in the description, so do well to check it out. So this is more like it for those who like to take a look at some of these nice things and probably you would like to read up on all of these, links to this is going to be in the description, so do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace. Thank you.